Hey everybody! Hello sheep. Boom! Boom! Push the button. Lots of sheep. Boom! Boom! Wait for it. Bum bum bum. Uh, down here. Oh, none came out. So that's how it should be working. Ooh, look, I'm flying. Ooh, I'm not on the micro server. There you go, look, that's ready. Um, so that's how it should be working. Um, what I've got over here. This is the piston lockout thing that I was talking about before. Um, it's immensely over complex. Um, if we look over here, this is this is how we've got it normally. Just comes around there. Yeah. When sheep eats that, when that grass grows, that pops out. When sheep eats grass, that pops back in again. That's that's how it is. With this one, everything has to regrow and stuff. Um, you see I've put a little bit of extra grass out of the pack just to try and speed up this. See these two have already popped. Um, if we look down here, we'll see that piston's out, that piston's out, this piston is still in. Hopefully at some point in the very near future that grass will grow. Come on grass. Grow. Grow grass. Oops, not quite what I meant to do there. Um, but we're having some slight teething troubles with this machine on the server. Now the reason to that is uh, SMP mobs, not surprisingly. They're not doing quite what they should be doing. Um, I think what I will do um, as 1.3 is allegedly coming out within the next five days um, uh, rumour has it. Um, I will pause work on it um, until 1.3 does come out, and then I shall remove these pressure pads. I shall replace them with a trip wire across here where the sheep is. Two reasons for that. One is obviously it gives them unimpeded flow through there, and two, we know that the sheep is right at the end because the trip wire will say, "Yep, sheep is here." Um, this will obviously make things a little bit more reliable, and hopefully, when 1.3 comes out, SMP sheep will be there, not here, like I've got at the moment. So they're all spazzing out. Um, that is, come on! See, this is why I didn't use this system. Because grass can take an awfully long time to grow. Let's, let's cheat the system. There you go, boink. Um, but I say that's that's why we didn't use that, which is a shame. Because that would be totally awesome. Yeah, 
Yeah, bing bongs is... So levels change. Um, bah. Yes, you should be eating in approximately three seconds. One, two, three. Look at that. How awesome am I? So I'm just waiting for the sheep to come up. That one's up. And this one's disappeared off the face of the earth. Great. So, it's not 100% reliable even in single player. But, while we're here, uh, people have asked questions like how did I think this thing up and stuff. Um, I'm, a little, I'm actually sorry, I'm a little confused now as to where that sheep has gone. Is he drowned? It's not drowned. Oh. I hear someone splashing about in the water. Oops, too far. And yeah, there's, there's our wall made it all the way, which is good. Made its way by the sounds of things. No, nope, that was something else that triggered that. What was that all about? Oh, that was grass green. Anyway, sod that. Um, this is my thought process for this thing. Um, this shit does not happen overnight, as anybody that makes redstone things will tell you. These are the thoughts for my original little group um, of coloured sheeps um, and sort of troughs out. Um, and then I had the idea of the, the vertical farm, which is this is a sort of early version. That's the small problem with this one. It's got no, <laughs> it's got no delays in it, so they tended to fall down quite a lot. Um, but the general principle is there. In fact, I've forgotten about this one. I quite like this one. It's good. Um, but yeah, it's just a straight bow of. Uh, and torches up there, so wouldn't take a great deal of um, changing to to make that work a little bit better. As I say, the main problem with this one is the delays in between. Um, and obviously, there's no there's no shut off, so we can keep cycling them like we have done, and we get a big group. Of, of holes. Pew! Like that. There's only one sheep there now. And there's loads coming up, so they back up there. So that's why we have this trigger. The other thing, of course, is if you keep cycling them quickly, they don't have enough time to eat the eat the grass. Um, I'm not entirely sure what this is all about. What's this one? No idea. Um, and then, what's this? Likewise, I've got no idea what this is either. Um, doesn't seem to be a start or finish to this one. Probably has something to do with this. Clock. Thing here. What's going on here? Do we know anybody? No. Don't know what that's. Anyway, so here's a sort of a refinement. 
this is going getting down more to, to how it was. You kind of build it and then you think, well, I've done that, now I could possibly do this. Um, so this is, I think this is the start of the idea of having the, the bud switch on the block change. Um, and what's going on here? No idea what's going on here. I oh, see this is trap doors. Now trap doors are good they're also bad. Now this is something I didn't know and um, Etho had to tell me, I had to talk to Etho about this. Um, you see that? There's no logical reason for that to happen. It's due to redstone updates, even though normally for redstone it has to go into a block like that to affect the block. Trap doors are a bit... Oops bit broken. Um, not even happen from there, no, it's not quite that far away. So even though that's not going into the block, and therefore shouldn't really affect that, um, it's still, oops, having problems with it. Let's get a Pistonian. That there. Again, you see, piston not affected, trapdoor affected. So, when you're doing lots of, you know, this stuff near this, because it's all it's all very compact, um, the trapdoors are all firing off and causing no end of problems because obviously when that goes down let's block that channel up so sheep drown um, and it was very very confusing um, to say in the end I had to message a and say why is this doing this and he's oh, in fact this is the thing I sent to him I sent him a picture of that Because as far as I've concerned, that, that's that's remote control. Because obviously that is clearly not connected. I mean, that may have a use for something. I can't see what, but it might. Unfortunately, it only does that. It doesn't work the other way. So there you have it. Um, this is obviously um well obviously for those people that know RS nor this is what I I was using is it RS nor I suppose it is yeah it's it's a latch I call it RS nor this is what I was using um blah, 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 over there at the top this is this is um when the sheep goes over the uh pressure pad um this is what triggers. It's it's a, it's a curious device. Shouldn't really work, but it does. So as you see, it powers that. It's ever so simple to make. So if you're stuck with um, redstone, this is a very useful object to memorise. Um, you have to have the redstone torch under this, of course. It doesn't have to be three long. It can be any long. Well, it can be two or longer, basically. We just have to have this torch under this block with redstone on top of it. This torch can be there, it can be there, it can be there. That's not that's not as important. Um, and then you have to have obviously a line out. Without the line out, it won't work. And the line out obviously has to be under that torch. And a line in for the reset, which has to go into this block because you power this block. This turns off. That turns off, that turns on, because that's inverting that signal, um, and that powers, which then powers that block, which then unpowers that, and it's really bizarre. Um, I said before, it's like a chicken and the egg thing. And, uh, it is really, because that, that is now powering this line, which is powering this block, which is unpowering this, which is unpowering that. Well, it's not unpowering that, but it's, it's not powering that. 
absence of power is different to negative. Um, yeah, it's it, it's it's a weird device. If you if your head can work out why that's working, then you shouldn't have a problem with redstone. If your brain can't work this out, then you're probably never going to uh, understand. Um, and then this is the sort of tape rotator thing for the colored blocks. Um, slow that down a little bit. That's just a simple clock, piston clock. Uh, two torches under there. That block's now powered. That block's now powered. Showing it, these four pistons pushing it round, up, across, down, across, up, across, um, and also this one here pushing it out. This is a layout that uh, CMD Minecraft uses. Um, it's very easy for getting the timings on these four buggers. Um, I don't really understand how it works, to be honest with you, um, against one of these things. Um, but you've got two outs. This out is powering this one and the diagonally opposite one over there. And then when that's off, this is on, which is powering this one and goes up the diagonally opposite one there. So that's how that works. Pretty straightforward, really. Um, See, I mean, there's some repeaters in there, but they're set to two, and they're set to, they're set to two anyway, so they're both equal. Um, and then this is a signal out to power this one, which is anything you need to worry about, really. Yeah, but uh, somehow I've got that working. Um, so, that, so if you want to make one of these ribbons, I highly recommend checking out. Um, CMB Minecraft's got a tutorial on uh, seven segment displays and that's where you'll find this um, it's, a, it's a similar principle um, and he, he uses it for bringing signal out this way whereas we're using it to just display stuff hiccups oh, so you're missing a block there um, Again, similar thing. Um, slightly broken by looks like we're missing a block, aren't we? Sit there and watch this for hours. Um, again, we're just trying to refine, refine the redstone, make it smaller. Um, it's doing the same thing. We're changing the direction of the, the dimensions rather of, of the ribbon. Um, what's this over here? I think this is just a. Oh, I was comparing timings because I was having trouble. I wanted to prove that two resistors are the same as a repeater set on two. And I mean, it, it sounds obvious, but logically, uh, my book. This is a this is a a horizontal version, and it was not working for sausages. All the timings were saying, yeah, that's right, but, uh, but, no, it wasn't, oops, it wasn't working. I couldn't work out why it wasn't working. 
And this is the layout we've got currently in, in the system. Um, as you can see, this one is broken. Um, which I said at the time when I was building building that on the Minecraft server. Uh, so I was having difficulties and I went back to look and this one stopped working and I don't know why this is stopped working because it was fine um, again simple piston clock here these are very useful um, mainly useful because you can put a second torch in there and have a second output here you see which is we'll turn it to that um, yeah, so I don't know why that stopped working. Um, it's very odd. Very odd. Um, and then we sort of built this, and again, it's all it's all down to idea, refine, makes try and make smaller, try and make more efficient. Uh, because if you want to do something. I get a lot of questions about this, which is why we're doing this video. Um, if you want to do something out of redstone, first of all, you've got an idea. You say, I've got this and I want it to do that. Um, and you think, right, how do I do that? Um, I need a piston. Um, and then I'm going to need a, a, another piston and a, and a, and a thing that does this and, and, and a pressure pad and um, all that sort of stuff and you you wire it up um, and it doesn't work so then you think okay well look on the wiki Try and find. Oh, what was it? The very one of the early things I did um, in Redstone was a door. No, it wasn't a door. It was it was the piston lighting in. Well, go away. Um, in my cathedral, if you if you remember my cathedral, going back a long time ago, um, and we had. Wow, so this is, I've sprung this on myself now and I can't remember what, what we had going on. We had, um, we had glowstone and this was floor level um, and we had Piston. Oops. Actually, no. We didn't have that. We had piston there. Stuck that one, and we had piston there. Um, so what we wanted to do was to press a button. Um, ooh, um, and when we press the button. This would come down um, this would suck this, this would take that um, and basically swap the blocks. Now this is fairly common these days. Uh, and I'm doing this on the fly so there will be errors. In fact, ooh, that's not what we wanted to do at all. In fact, what I need here is that inverted. And so there, like that. In fact, we probably can't even do it this small. But this is what I mean. You... People are going to be shouting at me, going, oh, that. But that's, that's not. 
in fact, yes, which is what we want to do is we want to do. Oh, no, we'll do that. Is it that? I can't remember now. Bagar. You see, I just get carried away. Hmm, I did something. Um, so anyway, this is what I mean. You, you, you try and work out how to do it. So now I've got that, so it goes in, grabs that and pulls it out. And you want to repeat it for this one to push it over or something. And then you want to do that. And then you think, right, okay, that's that's so big. Maybe I can change this for a piston and, and, and swap this around. And, and that's, you, you experiment. Um, and then the problem I had with the with the cathedral was I wanted two buttons, one at either end of a path. Um, so I had to go and look up on the wiki and work out this is this is the output I want. I want you know two two inputs in. Either of them can be on. You know, and then you look through the logic gates and you work out what you need, and then you build that into it and. You know, none of us um, are born knowing how redstone works. If you've got a basic understanding of uh, logic gates and... Um, oh, by the way, that that's not a mouth tick. That's not spittle. That's not anything like that. That's just me. That's That's the tongue hitting the roof of my mouth as I talk. That's... It's a, you know, it's an in, in, it's in flux. It's not. So if you're going to com comment about that on my videos, then as good says, eat a dick. Okay, there you go. And again, that was a sigh and a. So thank you. Anyway, um, yes, none of us are born knowing this this stuff. If you've got if you've got an interest in electronics and logic gates and you know you've learned that that will help you obviously um, but uh, but uh, you, you just you just got to you just got to read up you, you, know, you look at how other people do it um, uh, and just try experiment I'm uh, just wondering what else is this is something um, I've got planned for tough futures. Um, I won't say much about it, however. Let's have a little play, shall we? Watch it explode on itself. Did you see that? Did you see that? Yeah, we're firing gravel, um, and that shit is not easy, I tell you. I don't think that's going to work in SMP, to be honest with you. Um, okay, I know why you didn't fire. Why the hell are you pointing at that one? What was I, what was going on in my little brain? I do not know. So let's try that again, shall we? Um, I'll put seven in this time. This shit's going to go to the moon. To the moon! Boom! And blew itself up in the process. Where did that land? Where did it land? Um, that wasn't it. 
There it is. That's pretty powerful. Um, what else we got over here? Uh, seems to have a complete and utter dead end there. That's interesting. Um, over... Over here is my cake. Which you may remember from a video. Cake! Um, quickly, because we're running out of time. Which is annoying, because there was something else I wanted to talk about um, today a lot. I got a lot of emails from people, not emails, um, messages, about um, how to be a good YouTuber. Before we deal with that, this... This has had a population explosion, I think. I don't remember there being this many people here. Um, this is part of my experiments in, in villages and what constituted a village. Um, and this is this is quite old now. Uh, so the, the facts are a little, a little more well known. <laughs> it's actually mental, isn't it? Um... These are not houses. They will not recognise these as houses. Um, and this is probably something for Bubs to... to uh, in fact, Beef. Beef was having problems with this um, multi-door population explosion thing. They're not houses because this isn't open to the sky, essentially. These are houses because this is open to the sky. So even though it's buried deep underground, it's inset into the wall. Um, these are houses, as you can see. They like them. Uh, now somewhere else around here... I really should have made these things a little bit more obvious, to be honest with you. Um, I've got another village somewhere. Where people done do things. <laughs> but yes, um, a lot of people have asked me, you know, how, how do you get popular? Um, Milby has just done a very good video um, covering a lot of these subjects. Um, first off, I'm not the person to ask. I'm not the person to give information. You know, I've I've not gone out there and organically got all my subs and all my viewers. Mine are coming from being on Minecraft, um, and yeah, they come from the associated people around. I, I haven't had to go out there and say, look at me, I make videos, watch me. Um, which, you know, in YouTube's terms, is a charmed life. Um, and I'm fully aware of that. Um, I do sometimes grumble about the fact that there are other people with you know, more numbers and whenever anybody talks about Minecraft people, it's Good pause beef etho. Um, and it's like, well, I'm doing, you know, stuff with beef and pause. Why doesn't anybody remember my name? But, you know, they go out and do stuff. Um, pause in particular is voracious, but, you know, that's all he does these days, so he's got the time to. But, that's, that's, I mean, that is essentially the answer to the question. As Milby said, there's no, there's no magic bullet, there's no, there's no special button to press. Uh, you've got to work at it. You've got to get your name out there, and it also, as he says, spamming people um, is not the way to go. 
I'm just going to find some interesting scenery. Somewhere around here is a village. I'm sorry for being so vague, but something pretty to look at while I'm, I'm talking. Um, yeah, it's oh, it's difficult. You're going to get in the forum. Um, it's tricky because I've been thinking about this for the last couple of days and then this morning watched Milp's video in which he covered a lot of the things I was going to say which is quite annoying so a lot of what I'm about to say is is reiterating what he said but um, the man is evidently wise otherwise he wouldn't be thinking how I'm thinking um, but yeah you've, you, you don't spam people don't post in uh, you know popular people's comments saying come and look at mine I'm, I'm a new thing whatever it just winds people up they always get marked as spam because people don't like it uh, the people whose videos they are don't like it uh, if you remember a while back Etho said he was going to ban people that did that because they're not people that watch his videos um, uh, this is looking promising uh, and let's see though he's right obviously ba, 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 ba. we'll talk we'll watch these while we talk um yes <laughs> so don't 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 do that um again mill said there are a lot of YouTube Minecraft uh, Minecraft videos um, and you do need to be a little bit more special oh look fucking redstone's just uh, right around the corner we've gone this big loop um, yeah, you have to have something that's 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 a little bit beyond the norm um, these days you can't just I know if you look at I Minecraft Reddit it's all oh, there's a picture of my house um, and stuff um, I don't understand why that's so popular on Reddit because essentially everybody's got a house in Minecraft you know there's nothing spectacular about that at all um, you, you've got to you've got to think uh, you've got to think Seth Bling I mean he's very good at obviously he's got he's got a name now He's doing it, you know, how you should uh, do it. He's built something interesting, gone to Reddit and said, look at my interesting thing, gone to Minecraft forums and say, I've built something interesting, look at it. People look at it, say, I like this, subscribe. That's how you've got to do it. Um, again, it's not easy, um, but <laughs> welcome to life. It's not uh, easy. You have to work for stuff you want. Um, and then the other thing um, Milb did cover was um, playing games for a living. It's... You know, don't get me wrong. This game, Playing games is fun. Earning a living is fun. Um... But it changes the way you play a game. You can't just sit down and play a game to relax. Um, you, in fact, you can't play a game without thinking, well, I should be recording this, otherwise I'm losing money, first of all. Um, secondly, if you're at, you know, the sort of the good level where you've got a contract with IGN or one of these other gaming networks you're covered then to play pretty much anything you want when you're at a level when you're starting out um, and you're not monetizing you can pretty much play what you want when you're at oh god why have I forgot the bloody hiccups again <laughs> when you've got um, the level kind of where I am where you're not big enough for the IGN people but you are monetizing and making money you're kind of stuck in this funny zone 
where you've got to be very careful what videos you put out because if you piss off some publisher, usually EA, um, or what was the other one that's uh, Ubisoft, they're shits at uh, having people video their games, um, and you start getting strikes against your name, you know, copyright issues, um, and then you're in danger of losing all that hard work that you've put in with your channel going down uh, because of the ridiculous laws we're getting now about IP stuff which is you know if you put out a game that you spent several million doing and uh, somebody makes a video of it and make you know 30 quid you should shut them down because they're obviously they're obviously a threat to your game um, so yeah I mean I've bought games based on playthroughs I bought that the new Alan Wake thing based on Pause's playthrough um, and Hannah's playthrough of the original Han um, the previous Alan Wake um, which was good the new Alan Wake American what's it it's a pile of cock um, and I hate that I hate that they've done that but uh, so there you go playthroughs can if you've got a good product help you sell stuff so a gaming company listening to this uh, look at Mojang <laughs> I mean, Mojang's success is in a large part down to YouTube not Yogscast but people on YouTube promoting it it's like it's like free t-shirts for God's sake it's 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 look at this it's awesome it's free advertising uh, free PR you cannot buy that shit Anyway, um, so yes, playing games for money um, is not as much fun as you think it is. I don't want to be the, the party pooper, but it, um, you know, don't get me wrong, it's better than sitting in an office. But it's not, it's not, uh, it's not everything is cracked out to be. And don't forget, of course, it's not just playing the game, you've got to edit the game, you've got to... Uh, You've got to render it, you've got to upload it, there's a lot of time uh, taken. I mean this this video is probably going to take four or five hours before it's gone from here to being live at least. And um, the money this video will earn me is probably less than an hour's work in my normal job so you know as Melby said you're not gonna get rich doing this a bit extra extra beer money I think is where it is it's uh, it's you're not gonna get rich so for all those people but say how do I get big and uh, how's your channel grow that's it um, you keep keep putting those videos out get your name out there um, liaise with people that are similar get find groups um, you know I, I belong to a car forum that's got a, a minecraft minecraft server um, you know you, you join those get 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 with groups of people and then you can start doing you know collab stuff and then your network um cuz then their their viewers become your viewers if they like you um and of course that's the other thing you got to have something worth watching uh, i know i'm probably not the best one to talk about these things but you've you've got to you know give something people want to see um people seem to like the crap I'm putting out and that's that's good um, but obviously I've not got that mass fan factor otherwise you know I'd, I'd have the higher numbers so it's it swings and roundabouts really I don't know as I say I'm not really the person to ask but uh, that's the advice I can give so um, while I enjoy getting messages from people 
that's one. If you've got if you've got a message thinking, how do I get bigger? You don't need to send it now. Just watch this. Um, and likewise, if you want to send me a message saying how do I get onto the Minecraft server, I'll answer that one as well. You can't. Right. Good. Um, no, uh, that's not strictly true. Um, there's any possibility that anybody might get on. You don't have to be massive, but, and here's the big but, if you ask us if you can join, the chances are the answer will be no. Um, I think the general rule now is if we, like you, um, it's invitational, um, and invitational things mean you can't ask, they have to ask you. So, if you put out good stuff and you get noticed, um, again, you don't have to be a massive viewers, figures, um, then, you know, one day, you never know. Uh, but yes, anyway, quickly before we go, because this is turning into a huge video. Um, this is, again, some experimentations on villages. Again, this is quite old, so most of this information is probably quite well known, but again, this is a house. This is not a house, um, because from here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine blocks to open air. Um, so, not house. Hmm? This, two blocks to open air. Well, actually, there's not. Yeah, it's two, three. House. Popular house. Um, and again, these. Normally, that is actually. These are all houses. So you can, um, if you remember, uh, B00's uh, single player map, he had some houses in the ravine. You can have houses in the ravine. Uh, you just got to be careful about what's going on above them. But these are all houses, and they're quite happy to live in them. Um, they get confused as buggery on the staircases here, because they are thick as a bag of planks. But it's fun. Yay! Let's run round. Um, and this house is a house, but they don't tend to go in there because they can't find it. Oh, here we go, here we go. Yay! Oh, which is the other thing, obviously, to bear in mind with houses and stuff is access. Um, they are stupid. Um, they're like self-powered marbles. They'll kind of just roll in a direction and uh, if you're going to fence them off, here's another quick lesson before we go make sure you don't leave a hole in the fence otherwise you will end up like my farm on Minecraft where they've all disappeared because they see a hole in the fence and they run um, and even though inside the fence is their village where it's nice and safe, and outside the fence is lots of bad shit. Doesn't matter. They run because they're stupid. That's quite cool. Quite like that. Um, so be careful with that. Okay. Um, I hope I've answered some questions there. And um, next episode, we'll be back to normal. 
Um, I'm going to build something else. I've got something in mind uh, prior to the 1.3ness. 1.3ness. So I will see you later. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.